Well, hello, and thank you for joining me today with a word here concerning the interview that Bill O'Reilly had with President Obama. Friends, are we that morose that we watch a news journalist grill our president? Do we not think our nation would be served better if O'Reilly mentioned the vast needs of our society? within our cities, our schools, our poor, our minorities, our old and our young? It seems to be a distorted point of view by trying to place blame on programs or situations that have already passed. Would it not be far superior to champion vision and peace for the future with questions that lead to a broader characterization of the American creed, both here at home and in the world? I have said elsewhere, journalists and TV journalism today pronounces themselves as the moral authority of the nation. They today see themselves as judge, jury, and executioner. The tendency of news journalism is to seek monsters to destroy, and this we saw much in Bill O'Reilly's interview. This is not journalism, but an ethical delusion passed on as journalism, when indeed it is not journalism, but a personal point of view of what the interests of the country are, Therefore, not objective, but a dangerous view thinking journalism has the authority to set people right, even the President of the United States. There cannot be any Messiah in America, and we have all said this. It must be common good, purpose, and goodwill among the national patrons unifying to solve our national ills and difficulties. You do not see this in much of journalism today. It would do us all well to remember the words of an old sage. He said, he who acts the angel is really the brute. Some may not agree with the president, yet he is still our president until the next election. Any attack on the president is a moral dismembering of our country and it will serve us well to unite. No one has all the solutions to our national ills and problems. However, if the common bond is to participate in solving our difficulties with open dialogue as the president did in this interview, America can progress past a staunch point of view, finding treasure in a once barren field. Journalists are still clinging to a slave morality with thou shalt as their weapon. This has proven a path that leads to disintegration of the spirit and the body, not moving forward to a place where time is not, opening vast resources of the imagination and propelling us forward ready to meet the future. This is the threshold America must cross into. The young Native Americans were given advice before their initiation. They were told, as you go the way of life, you will see a great chasm they were told to jump. They said, it is not as wide as you think. Let us all remember this. As we go forward with hope and propel ourselves into the future with the good hand of God Almighty upon us and with the vision of all men that shall strengthen us and bless us as a people and a nation and remove us from the dragon slayers in the land 
who see us as doom and gloom and do not see a bright shining light coming down in the midst of our country. God bless you and God bless the United States of America.